What's up my peoples? Today we are learning how to hang string lights at your house or what we're doing at our Airbnb. So we're going from this house behind me and we're gonna start our lights there. And we're gonna, you see the, there's a path right there. We're gonna follow that path all the way out to the lake and go crisscross back and forth. The second thing you do is figure out where you're gonna get power from. By the way, this is our Airbnb on Lake Lone Star in Texas. If you wanna come see us, look us up on Airbnb. Search Lone Star, one word, Texas. Next, we're going to get our, so we found our electricity. We actually have a plug there, and we're gonna put one of these in the roof. So you wanna find your studs before you did that. We've already located our stud. It's like right there somewhere. You wanna pre-drill that hole with something like this, just a little bit smaller than your lag bolt. It's called a lag bolt. Next, you're gonna need some of this. Get your roll of this, you can get it on Amazon. This is called SPT2 wire, otherwise known as lamp cord. We're gonna roll some off of the spool and feed it down a little bit so we can get to there. We're gonna wrap this a couple times through here so that if that, the tree that we're going to bends, you got some slack. We've got plenty eye bolts. We've also got a pair of cutters. They're also wire strippers, but we just use them to cut. Screwdriver. And a hammer. You'll see what all those things are for in just a minute. It is helpful to have a drill when you're putting these in on trees, especially if it's a hardwood. Make sure that you got a pretty heavy duty screwdriver. I've already bent this one, it's okay. I don't need it, we'll keep using it. Other items that you'll need are your socket cord, socket wire. We get S14, I'll leave a description somewhere for Amazon where you can get this stuff. This is a 100 foot roll and then your bulbs. Sometimes you can order them together, sometimes you don't, but I like to make sure that we get the dimmable bulbs, dimmable S14, that way you can create the ambiance that you want. Because, check this out, this is, we're trying to create an ambiance out here, so the people that are staying in the Airbnb behind us may want to turn the lights all the way up, they may want to dim them all the way down. Let's let them make that decision. I'm gonna go ahead and lay the cord out. Believe me, you will thank me later. So we'll start the tree we're starting at right there. Go to this little baby right here, and then I'll probably stop right there. You'll also want to get you some of these things right here, carabiners, so that you can hook on your lines to hook on to your lag bolts. You may say, Shane, take that out of your mouth. You may also say, Shane, why aren't you putting up any guide wires? Well, we normally do, but listen, it's time to risk it, Biscuit. I would say if you're going past 35, 40 feet, put up some guide wires. You can use some 3 16th coated wire, put that up first, and then hang your your corded wire or your uh, socket wire on that also i've got this wrapped up like this for a reason i'm gonna clip my carabiner around all those as to reduce the tension in one spot on the wire all right so we've got it hooked around the outbolt here you see there's no tension on the actual plug-in here so i'm gonna go ahead and put a female on this i'll show you when you get your lamp wire you're, you're gonna want to get some of these this is a female spt2 vampire plug with back. You're gonna lay it in, squeeze it down, and then take your back, slide it on. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up since we don't, we're not connected to power yet. As we go down, going to hook some bulbs in, or screw some bulbs in. In order to save some time, I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage some of these bulbs. You're gonna pre-drill your hole, get your lag bolt started, turn it about a half turn to a full turn by hand, tap with your hammer, turn again, tap, turn again, tap until you get it about a half inch in there and then use your screwdriver to tighten it the rest of the way up. Now, I don't know if you can tell, I'm gonna move my hand, but there's quite a bit of droop in that. And the reason is, is that that little tree especially is gonna move and pine trees move more than you think. So that from there to there is about 12 feet. 
I may actually drop it just a little bit more just to give it wind coming off the lake. Trees are gonna move. You don't want them to break your wire. When you get up there, wherever you find where you want your tension to be or when you pull your wire and you figure out where you wanna hook it, say that's right here, right? Okay, so just in order to keep it from all the tension from being on that one strand of wire right there, now you could do that and that's fine, but we're, we're making a little longer runs than I normally would make without guide wire. So just wrap it a few times around your finger and then clip your carabiner through it, just like that. And that'll hold it tight where it's at. Now, disclaimer here, if you decide to do what I'm doing, you are running the risk of your line breaking if you have a big windstorm come through. One thing I forgot to mention was before you put each strand up, plug them in, make sure all your bulbs are working. This is common sense, but I don't think common sense is too common anymore. So, and I'm not insulting everybody out there because I've actually done this before. <laughs> so, I'm insulting myself. If you're screwing the bulbs in while that wire is plugged in, it's hot. It will shock you. Just don't stick your finger in the socket unless you want to wake up. Might be into that kind of thing.